I know that Twitter had previously had a CISO, but that role had gone unfulfilled for some time. And then the big crypto securities scam happened in July, and then you were brought on in September. How did you feel stepping into the role knowing that and also just having this philosophy around cybersecurity and culture? Yeah, when I, um, it was an interesting time for me, um, like just going, so I, and I can talk about this later, but you know, I, I was the CISO um, of Rubric, as you mentioned before COVID hit, I was looking, um, I started looking for, just started taking opportunities and recruiting calls um, and Twitter reached out and Twitter's obviously, if you're in the Bay area, it's like a dream company to go and work for, right? Um, <laughs> and, but what really drew me in was they were at a very interesting time in making some calls that were really difficult calls for the company that really did put a target on their back. Um, and that notion of being able to go and protect the public conversation really drew me in and to be able to go, uh, to Twitter and really change the culture there. It wouldn't just change the culture. It makes the platform better for every single person that uses Twitter. Um, and at the end of the day, it fulfills the goal of protecting the public conversation. And so it felt like a dream role and it has been. Um, and so just it's so Twitter's so relevant to everybody and everything in the world yep. right now. Uh, so and I get to be the one that kind of is at the uh, that has the steering wheel on how we go and make sure that the culture internally is uh, such that we're doing the best for our customer base. 